In this Tuesday two minute tutorial guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can create this really cool stretch text effect in your document using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop and open up a blank document. As you can see, I've got a blank document here and all I've got is a solid color fill adjustment layer as the background. I didn't want the background to be white, I wanted it to be black. Then what you want to do is go ahead and over to your text document, add in your text. I'm going to go ahead and add in the word stretch, but you can go ahead and add in any type of word you like, but make sure it's not too long. Then what I'm gonna do is go to my selection tool so I can move it around. I'm gonna go ahead and press Command T. I'm gonna move it into the center. And I'm also gonna make it a slightly larger. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter to confirm. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and stretch it, but we can't do that when it is a live text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert it into a shape. So what I'm gonna do is go to that layer here, right click, and I'm gonna go ahead and convert it into a shape. Once we've done that, what we can do now is use the direct selection tool. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side, I'm gonna go find a white arrow tool, it might be under path, but what we want to do is hold, click and hold, bring down to where it says direct selection. And as you can see, we've now got anchor points which we can now adapt and transform. So what I'm gonna do is click and drag just the bottom section of this text, so we can just, just select those anchor points. And then if you go ahead and click and hold one anchor point, it'll bring all of them and you can stretch that text as you can see here. And what I'm gonna do is stretch it all the way down. Then what I'm gonna do is go back to our selection tool and all I'm gonna do is just simply move it back into the middle. And as you can see, we've stretched that text. But if you want to add a little bit more effect, you can add in a gradient overlay, a drop shadow. I've got all of those particular tutorials on my channel. So if you go ahead, here is the before, and here is the after. And make sure to go to the playlist in the description if you want to know any more cool effects that you can do to your text.